welcome to today's NaNoWriMo vlog. First of all, I am sorry that I haven't been vlogging as much recently, but I do feel better, so it's all fine and dandy now. And thank you, all of you who told me to get better soon and told me to feel well, and I really appreciated it. That, get, that was um, really nice to hear, if I could speak English. But anyways, today is the 16th of November. We are past the halfway point. And um, the word count for today is 26,672 words in order to finish on time. I am currently at 45,177 words. I wrote about 5,000 words today and I'm gonna write 5,000 words tomorrow so I can finish my novel. And that kind of ties in what, into what today's video is about. Also, I'm sorry if I'm talking a little quieter, but my dad is very sick still, and he is sleeping in the room down the hall, so I don't want to be too loud. But that ties into today's video topic, which is kind of a frequently asked questions video, but it's really only dealing with one question in particular, and that is, will I let you guys read my novel when it is finished? And unfortunately, the answer to that is going to be no, and I'm going to explain to you what my reasons are. The first reason is, is it's just not very good at all. If I ever did want to share it with you guys, I would definitely revise and edit it before I ever put it on the internet. It is not a good novel. It's written in first person because I felt like in order to feel all the emotions that you needed to feel or that I wanted you to feel in the story, it needed to be in first person. But I'm not a very good first person writer, so it's not the best on that end. And the second reason is I'm not finishing it properly. And what I mean by that is I'm basically cramming in plot points right now to finish it tomorrow because um, the whole scholastic, I don't know if your guys' school does this or if you're still in high school and get these things, but there's a scholastic um, writer's award type thing and one of the things you can submit is 50 pages of your manuscript. Um, the first 50 pages of your manuscript and if you win you get a, a professional editor and the possibility of publication. And this is due the 16th of December. And I've decided that I really, really, really want to do this, but I also know that the novel I'm writing right now cannot go to an editor, ever. <laughs> I have to edit it so much myself before I would ever send it to anyone, and even then, this is not a story that I would publish. But because of that, I have started writing another story, and I need to get to 50 pages at the very least of a manuscript in order to be able to participate in the Scholastic Awards. And in order to do that, I need to be done with my nano novel in order to focus solely on this Scholastic novel. But I'm willing to compromise a little bit with you guys, and my compromise is this. I am willing to read certain passages of my book to you guys every other day starting tomorrow if you guys are interested. So I will be choosing the passages that I want to read. I will go in chronological order and this will most likely continue until the end of November um, or until I run out of good passages. So if you guys are interested in that compromise, leave a comment down below. Tell me if you would like to hear little excerpts, maybe a paragraph or two at a time of my novel that will kind of skip around. And because I'm not going to most likely share this novel with you guys. Otherwise, I will be more open to giving you guys spoilers and things like that. So if you don't want spoilers, click away now because I am gonna tell you a minor spoiler. So I told you guys that Tane died, but I didn't tell you how he died and someone asked me how he died. All I told them was he was murdered, but that's not the whole truth. The issue is this. Seseth is a very controlling human being. He didn't want Jaysa to have friends. He didn't want Jaysa to have anything. Happiness, out the window. No way, Jose. And the issue was, Jaysa was spending so much time with Marissa and Tane that Seseth finally got fed up with it. And he was like, this is what happens when you mess with me. This is what happens when you break my rules. This is what happens when you go behind my back time after time after time after time when I've already told you no. And what he does is he kills Marissa, and then he makes Jaysa kill Tane. She doesn't want to do it, and he ends up literally pushing her to do it. And she stayed with him as he died, and it was emotional, and it was sad. But there's that little tidbit that I didn't tell you guys before that I am now willing to tell you. Um, so yeah, leave a comment down below. Tell me if you guys um, are interested in hearing one or two paragraphs of my story every other day starting tomorrow. I know today's video wasn't all that exciting or about writing. Um, yay, I'm a poet, but 
I will see you guys again tomorrow for another NaNoWriMo vlog. But until then, peace out guys and happy writing. I don't know if you heard that, but my stomach just growled. <laughs>